Hello and welcome. In my previous video on UART protocol, I have discussed how a UART protocol works. This is the interfacing diagram of UART with PKTNF controller. So here in interfacing, we have used only two pins, RC6 and RC7, which is nothing but TX and RX pin. This is MPLAB XID environment. And in this ID, we have created a project. We have typed the program and we have included one header file config setting dot th selected the frequency of oscillator 48 megahertz then in the initialization of uart we have configured the different registers which are used for programming of uart so tx pin is set as output here rc7 rx pin it is set as input now let us see what are the different registers that we need to take care while writing the program for UART interfacing. So the first register we have TXSTA, transmit status and control register, RCSTA, receive status and control register, baud rate control register, baud rate generator register higher byte, then this is lower byte, uh, TXREG, that is transmission register, and RCREG, receive register. Transmit status and control register, which is of 8 bit register and it consists of different control bits for example txen that is transmit enable bit so txsta you can see the value written in, in it which is in binary format so it is used for synchronous 8 bit transmit enabled and low speed baud rate select now this is a function to send the character this is function to put the character and this is a function to get the character so there are four different functions we are used in the program and this is the main function here the baud rate is selected 9600 we'll build the project so you can see build successful now let's open the pick loader so we'll say program break reset on the board we'll press the reset then go to the program bootloader file open so we'll select the uart file dot hex open program write device so you can see writing is completed now close this software and open the flash magic go to the tools terminal select the com port 3 so you can right click here go to the device manager in the device manager so you can see the option ports so this is com 3 so we have selected here com 3 ok this black window is output window and this white window is input window. So on the key to I'll press the reset. So you can see this is the output we have in the input window. I'm typing the characters. So this is a two way communication between the PC and the controller. Thank you everyone.